Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Well, this is part two of approximation and estimation. In uh, the previous part, we saw what approximation was and how to approximate numbers. Uh, in this lesson, what we will do is we'll talk a bit more about approximation and we'll also see how to use uh, the principle of approximation to do some calculations, okay, to estimate values of uh, in, in operations. Let's do a quick recap, okay? Let me give you a number like 7,230, okay? And I'm rounding this off to the nearest, 100. So what I'm saying is I only care about the part of the number until the hundreds place, okay? And the rest of the number, the tens place and the ones place, I don't that much care about. So it's like, you know, it's like loose change. You don't care about, okay? So it's like if it is... If you're talking about seven thousand two hundred and thirty dollars, you're talking in thousands, so it's like thirty dollars of loose change. You don't care about, okay? You can just drop it. You can say that, uh, so so you can round it off, and you you say that this is roughly equal to approximately equal to seven thousand two hundred. Now, if on the other hand you have like seven thousand two hundred and eighty-five, and you are rounding this off to the nearest hundred, so you so you're saying you only care about the part of the number. Till the hundreds place and 85 is something you don't that much care about okay but here it's not like lose change this is 85 is too important to lose okay so what you do is you say okay how about I round it up and I round it up so instead of 7,000 and 7,285 I round it up and I make it 7,300 now that's because 85 is much too close to the nearest hundred which is 7,300 then it is to 7,200. So if on the number line, you draw, you mark 7,200 here, and you mark 7,300 here, then you have the middle point 7,250 here. Now, if you were to take this number, 7,230, you would place that here. Now, 30 is not that much, so you can drop the 30, and you can round it down to 7,200. But 7,285, the 85 is uh, much too important to lose. So what you do is you don't round it down. What you do instead is you round it up to the next 100, which is 7,300. So the simple rule is if the number is equal to or greater than the middle point on the number line, you round it up, and if it is less, then uh, the middle point you round it down okay that is when you are given a number you and, and you are asked to round it off however on the other hand you are told that a number has already been rounded off and you're asked to find the original number okay so in this case for example you have been told that the number has been rounded off and the number has become 7300 now your task is to find out what the original number could have been so if you take this example, okay, the original number could have been anything between 7,250 and 7,300 plus a few numbers to the right of 7,300 because we said in the previous, uh, in, the, in the previous lesson that when you round off a number, one of two things can happen. Either the new number will be smaller than the original number or the new number will be bigger than the original number, okay? So in this case, some of the numbers are smaller than 7,300, which is to the left of the number line, and some of the numbers will be more than 7,300, that is, they will be to the right of the number line, okay? Now, say we have somebody called Jack, okay? And Jack is a programmer, and he makes some amount of money, okay, uh, every month. Now, he has a friend called Jill, and Jill wants to know how much he's making, okay? So, she goes and asks him, okay, Jack, how much money do you, do you earn a month as a programmer? And Jack says, well, I don't want to reveal the exact amount of money that I make. So, he says, well, I make about $6,000 a month. Now, Jill heard about, so she said, huh, he doesn't exactly make $6,000. He makes about $6,000. So she went about trying to figure out how much money he might be making roughly. Okay, she cannot tell exactly how much he's making. But she says, okay, so let me think. Let me figure out how much he might be making roughly. Okay, it's a rough estimate. 
So she says, okay, this looks like there are three zeros, so maybe he rounded it off to the nearest thousand because there are three zeros. Maybe he rounded it off to the nearest ten or nearest hundred. But for our, for for now, we just just uh, uh, imagine that maybe he uh, he rounded it off to the nearest thousand because there are three zeros and thousands got three zeros. Okay, so let's uh, try to work out how much uh, he might be making. So he said, I make about six thousand dollars. And we know that when you round off a number to the nearest thousand, then some of the numbers that the original number could be might be smaller than 6,000 and some might be bigger than 6,000. So he might be making either less than 6,000 or he might be making more than 6,000. Okay. So so what, what Jill went, uh, said about doing is she made this uh, number line and she placed 6,000 on the number line. Okay. And she knows that some numbers some figures might be bigger than 6,000. So she said, okay, how about I pick a number and I round it off to the nearest 1,000 and see if, if if after rounding off, it comes to 6,000. So she said, how about I take 6,500? So she took 6,500 and rounded it off to the nearest 1,000. But when she rounded this off to the nearest 1,000, she saw that no, 6,500 is going to be rounded up to $7,000 actually. And that is not how much he said he's making. So she said, how about I take 6,499 and let's see if that gives me 6,000. Okay, after rounding off. So, of course, this time she got the number right. 6,499 did give her 6,000 after rounding down because she checked the digit in the hundreds place and hundreds was less than 5. So obviously it will be rounded down to 6,000. Okay, and then she was smart enough to uh, figure out that everything from 6,000 to 6,499 is a possible answer. So there are 400, there are 500 possible answers from 6,000 to 6,499, which could be the amount of money that, that he might be making. So if the number falls anywhere within this range, 6,000 to 6,499, that might be the amount of the amount of money that <clears throat> Jack might be making. So 6,250, for example, could possibly be his salary. 6,100 could be his salary. 6,400 could be sal could be his salary. Also, she said, how about maybe he's making less than 6,000, okay? And he's not making more than 6,000 because he rounded it off. So she said, okay, how about I try 5,500? And let me see if that after rounding off gives me 6,000. And yeah, well enough, true enough, she got Five, she had 5,500. She rounded it off to the nearest thousand. She checked the digit in the hundreds place and yeah, 5,500 does give you 6,000 after rounding up. She said, okay, so anything between 5,500 and 6,000 is also a possible answer. How about I try with another number to the left? Okay, and she said, okay, how about I try with 5,499? Well, after rounding off this number, she got 5,000 and she got 5,000, okay, after rounding this off to the nearest thousand. So no, 5,499 is not a possible choice. So here what we find out is anything between 5,500 all the way to 6,499 is the possible amount of salary that Jack might be drawing each month, okay? And this is actually, there are, four, there are, there are 1,000 possible choices. These are 1,000 possible numbers. If you start counting 5,500, 5,501, 5,502, all the way to 6,000, and then all the way to 6,499, you will notice that there are 500 numbers that fall to the left of 6,000. So there are 500 numbers here, 500 numbers here, and 500 numbers to the right of 6,000, including 6,000 itself. That, that that might be his uh, possible uh, salary amount. Okay, so that makes a possible 1,000 numbers. So what you see here is if you round off a number to the nearest 1,000, then that means that there are 1,000 possible numbers that can give you the, the rounded off number. So if you're told that a number after rounding off to the nearest 1,000 is 6,000, then you can be sure that there will be 1,000 possible numbers that will give you 6,000 after rounding off to the nearest 1,000, okay? I think if you do some practice exercises, uh, you'll get a better idea of uh, how to round off or how to, how to guess a number which has been rounded off.
Uh, all right, so that's that about approximation. How about we now do estimation, okay, which is whatever we've learned up to now in approximation, we use that and we estimate values in operations, okay? So let me let me start with an example. Let's go back to a friend, Jack, again. And Jack, we know, is a programmer, okay? And Jack, say, works for the company that's run by Mr. Smith, okay? And there are two guys in this company, Jack and another guy, let's call him Harry, okay? So Jack and Harry are both programmers. Mr. Smith gives them uh, a salary each month, okay? So Jack earns, say, 5920 and Harry earns $4,180 a month, okay? Now, Mr. Smith wants to find out how much uh, how much he's paying in salary to these two guys uh, together each month. He says, okay, let me just find a rough estimate of how much these two guys are making together. So can you help Mr. Smith find out how much he's paying out these guys each month? Well, for that, let's round off these numbers to the nearest thousand, okay? So Jack is making 6,000 if rounded off to the nearest thousand. And Harry is making 4,000 if rounded off to the nearest thousand. So the total... The total, let me, let me write that down. The total is $6,000 plus $4,000, right? So Mr. Smith is roughly paying about $10,000 because $6,000 plus $4,000 is $10,000. So Mr. Smith is paying about $10,000 a month to his employees, to employees in salaries, right? Now, if we wanted to find out how much more Jack is making than Harry, then how would we go about doing that? Well, we again round up these numbers to the nearest thousand and we get 6,000 and 4,000. 6,000 is the salary for Jack and 4,000 the salary for Harry. So how much is Jack making more than Harry? Well, how much more? How much more? So how much more is Jack making? Well, he's making 6,000 because that's his salary minus 4,000. Okay, so he's making about 2,000 more than Harry. All right, but now let's say that there are three programmers in his company and each of them is making about $7,079 a month, okay? And there are three programmers in this company, okay? So how much is Mr. Smith uh, paying out in salaries uh, to these guys together every month? Or you could go and, you know, you, can, you could take a calculator and do the calculation, 7,079 times 3. You could do something like this, 7,079 times 3, and you could do the calculation. But if you just wanted to know a rough estimate of how much uh, Mr. Smith is paying out in salaries, well, what you would do is just round off. 7,079 to the nearest thousand and that will give you about $7,000 and you say okay each of these guys is making 7,000 so the total salary would be 7,000 times 3 and that is equal to 21,000 right now say for example Mr. Smith knows how much he's paying out in salaries to these guys uh, every month and he knows the exact amount so the exact amount is say about 20, 21,350. So Mr. Smith says, okay, this is how much I'm paying in total to, to these guys together. But how much is each of these guys paying then? So what he does is he has, so he says, well, I've lost my calculator, so let me just do some mental math. So what he does is he rounds off this number 21,350 to the nearest thousand. Well, for rounding off to the nearest thousand, you know you have to check this guy in the hundreds place. Three is less than five, so you round it down. So you say 21,000 and then you divide it by three because there are three programmers, right? So you divide that by three. Okay, this 21,350, he has to divide that by three, okay? But he has lost his calculator, so he rounds it off to the nearest thousand and that gives him 21,000 and that's to be divided by 3. So he divides that by 3 and then he gets $7,000. Okay, so Mr. Smith is paying $7,000 a month to each of the three programmers. Okay, so that's what you, that's why, that's the usefulness of uh, knowing how to be able to do approximation or how to do rounding off, which is rounding up or rounding down. 
you just do mental math and that's all you need. So that's that about approximation and estimation. I hope you got how to do this. And maybe it's a good idea now that you go and do some practice exercises, okay? So check out www.homecampus.com.sg for some practice exercises, okay? Because practice makes perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.